Hey, what's up, everyone? My name is Andrew Martin, and welcome back to the Truth Podcast. In our city of Portland, a very gruesome man has changed the narrative to a very cataclysmic state for the people. The police have been investigating a dozen missing persons cases, and so far have found seven missing people. The names are uh, somewhere around here in my phone, if I can find it. Oh, right here. And the names are Sophia Jackson, Isabella Thompson, Olivia Peters, Madison DeRosier, Michael Valentin, Alice Tremblay, and Lucas Nava. The names will uh, be somewhere around here. And also, since I've been trying to turn the police for answers, I've got nothing. Everything has been going awry since I've tried to look in more into these cases, but nothing has come up. This is, the police need to step up. Also, the commissioner, I've talked to him and you guys already know the story. He's racist and go figure, right? But he's also running for mayor. So that's why I think what that's why I think he's covering all this up. He just wants to do this so he can save his campaign. I mean, what? Just because he has a daughter or something that he's not going to be some evil guy? I call a bunch of crap on that. Well, that's all that I have for tonight. And if you like my content, please like, share the truth, and subscribe. I'll see you guys next week with more of the truth. Have a good night, everyone. James. James, I got a press conference, okay? What? What do you mean, man? Excuse me, excuse me, Governor James. Look, I'm doing everything I can to catch these predators, okay? And, quite, and I think you know that. Governor, okay? But I'm going to tell you something. No, no, no. This is my city, okay? And quite frankly, I want to find who thinks I can get away with this in my city, okay? More than you more than any other governor, more than the senators. This is my say. I don't really care. Look, bro, I don't, governor, excuse me, sorry, okay. Uh, uh, I don't really care too much about my job, all right? What I care about is the citizens of this, of this beautiful city and protecting them. I'm here for the citizens, and quite frankly, I, you know, I don't really even care what you do as far as my job, all right? I don't care. I don't care, I'll go rogue. This is my city. And I'm gonna find out who did this. Do you understand me? No. I didn't say two, three days, as long as it takes. But trust me, they are going down. I'm gonna tell you something else. When they get apprehended, and you're not gonna hear of this, they're gonna to come to me first. Uh, right, but right now, I got a press conference. We will talk about this later. But we're not done here, man. Okay? Get I James, I gotta go. No. I gotta go. I got a press conference. Santa Clara playing tennis. I decided to take a break. Of course, of course, I can never stress, right? Breaks are good, tennis is good. How you been doing otherwise? 
You tell me. I heard what's been going on and your face is all over the news. I thought you might need some support. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's been a bit stressful, you know. I can tell you that, you know. Like, more than stressful. A little bit of a nightmare. You know, but your mom, she would have told me to, uh, I don't know. You know, your mom was great. Your mom was beautiful. If your mom was here, like, none of the stress would be happening. I'm not saying that she would solve the murders, but definitely I'd be a different person, you know? I've got murders going on, I've got missing people. I don't have the love of my life anymore. You're like all I got. You know, things would be so much better with her if your mother were here, you know? But I mean, I mean, you know, it is what it is, right? I've got the governor. She's like the wicked witch of the West on my ass all the time. You know, your mother would have told me to like, take it easy. Thomas, you know, just chill. Yeah, you know, uh, but anyway, hey, listen, uh, I gotta go. So, make yourself at home. You can stay here, you can leave, you can order pizza. Could you help them bring me a salad? A salad, yeah. Uh, <laughs> salad, okay. It's like an appetizer, but salad it is. Good to finally meet you. Likewise, Commissioner. I apologize about that phone call earlier. You know, I figured it was just a, another telemarketer. It's quite a right to text. The telemarketers in the city suck. Let me show you around this place a little bit. Come on in, man. So I understand you've been quite an atheist, yourself, oh, Detective. Yes, sir. And quite frankly, I have full confidence that you're an excellent detective. Okay? Thank you. But well, we got a real situation here. In case you haven't noticed, okay? This is widespread thing. This insanely large amount of missing persons cases is becoming a real problem, man. Okay. okay? And quite frankly, I want to find out who thinks they could get away with this in my town. Okay? Okay. And this is your chance to shine. This is your chance to make everybody in the city, including me, proud of you. Okay? okay. It's your chance to become a hero, pal. Okay? Sir, I appreciate your offer, but. I work kind of different here. You know? I don't know if I'm going to fit in with everybody. What do you mean you work different? We celebrate differences here, man. And that's exactly why I picked you for the situation, okay? So, the fact that you're different is actually a good thing, okay? And that's why it's just going to be the two of you, okay? Two of us? Yes. As of now, you and FBI Special Agent Lennon are going to be the only two people on this case. It's a real hot shot of a Quantico. But I also want to let the feds know that they're working in my city, okay? FBI? That's right. You and FBI Special Agent Lennon. Like I said before. And I want to let you know something, okay? When you catch them, I want you to bring them to me before you bring them to the precinct, okay? Yes, sir. We got a great city here. And you know what? I don't really care too much about my job, okay? My situation is... I'm concerned about the citizens of this city. Okay, come with me this way, okay? Yeah. This is, uh, well, actually, this is like, for lack of a better word, an investment of mine that went to shit, okay? Mm. But you got everything you need here. You got all kinds of office space. If you need to pull in an extra agent for anything like that, you got offices to pull them in. Uh, paperwork, any office you want for paperwork. We got a little, uh, Artillery room down the hall. I'll let you know about that one later. Oh. And uh, what was the other thing I was going to say? Uh, I'll just say. Okay, I got to go. All right. And um, let me tell you something, man. Oh, hold on a second. I got something for you. 
And I'm damn proud to give it to you. Hey, I appreciate that, Commissioner. Okay. Thank you. You're the man, okay? Uh, so, like I was saying before, this is your time to shine bright, okay? This is your time to become a hero, okay? I'm gonna be proud of you, and the citizens of the city are gonna be proud of you. So put it together, okay? Yes, sir. You got it. Okay, uh, yes, sir, thank you. See ya. Nothing. He's clean and intelligent. Doesn't even look like a kidnapping. It appears that they left willingly. Okay. Let's see. What else? Well, other than that, not much. Well, he lures his victims into an isolated area so he can be alone with them. Most of his victims have been women, right? So far, four women and three men as of last month. He's on a roll and he's not going to stop. He's either provoked or passionate. This is an obsession for him. What, what do you get out of all this? Agent Lennon? Yes. Understood. We're on the way. Is there... Is everything okay? No. There's another missing victim. Alright. Let's get going. Zach Harper, age 23. Last seen jogging around 9 p.m. This is mindless, man. How do you get used to this? Is there a stage where this all becomes tolerable? There's never a stage where this all becomes tolerable. There's always someone trying to up the next guy. How do you cope with this, honestly? Me personally? I try to catch every bad guy in every different city to make a difference. Because they may be smart, but they are not smarter than me. I'll try to remember that, but when I catch one of these psychopaths, I will kill them. No hesitation. Well, I understand that, but there's a fine line between us and them. If we don't make that fine line, then we're no different than them. <laughs> yeah, speak for yourself. Let's keep going. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, Julia, this is Dr. Vivian Miller. She's if not the best in the Northwest. Oh, come on, Kent. Oh, anybody can do this. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> so, um, we found something that was a little obscure. Obscure? Like what? Um, we found a limb that was definitely hacked off, and based on the lacerations, the body was already post-mortem. Um, what does that mean? I don't want to overstep, but I think that the victim's DOA was long before he was discarded into the bag. How long? Months? Maybe even years. 
It'll take time, but when I can get a thorough examination of the body, I'll get you a more exact answer. Well, thank you, Dr. Vivian. We'd be lost without you. We're gonna check this area out now. Oh, uh, one more thing. Uh, the victim's limbs were completely exsanguinated from the blood. What does that mean? There was no blood left inside. Your suspect could be harvesting them for numerous reasons. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Mm. I'm gonna do a wider search. Okay. Okay? All right. I'll be back. Log, one. If I were Zach, why would I stop? Maybe I'd hear something, hear a cry for help. Someone asking. Hmm. Maybe Zach stopped for a girl. Most every guy stops for a girl. I know I would. Suspect must have been waiting overnight to find a specific victim. Could have been looking for a bicyclist, lone jogger, something easy, weak. Why you, Zach? Why? About three fourths of a mile in. Shaded area, lots of tree coverage. We're gonna find you, Zach, and the person who did this. We're gonna find you. Welcome back to The Truth. I'm Andrew Martin, and here's what I have for you guys today for the evidence, so-called, that I have found. Detective Lennon. Whoa, let, let me get that out of my face, please. What's, what's wrong? Uh, this is a police investigation. Oh, you're investigating these missing people? Yes, I am. Are you sure? It's positive. Pl please, sir, get that it's, out of my- Come on, just tell me the truth. What the fuck is your problem? I'm trying to have a investigation here without any tamperance or people trying to get out to the like media. Like I said, false I'm just trying to get the truth. And I'm for this to, podcast. And I'm looking for solutions. I'm looking for a missing person. But do you not understand? This is for the truth. I, what I do is for the truth and looking for safety of other beings, actually. But you don't have to be a dick about it. I'm the one being nice. I, do you hear me calling people names? This has been a long investigation, and my fans of my podcast are trying to get answers. And they will get these answers in a timely fashion. I just need to calculate all this evidence together and make sure that we're doing this the correct way. The commissioner said that last time, and it's been almost a month. You know, these are people's families we're talking about, like brothers, sisters, uncles, aunts, cousins. I agree, and we're going to find this person, whoever's doing it, and that's why I need to do this without any hesitation the show or... is called the truth for a reason and i'm trying to find the truth to show my fans and you and your fans will get the truth once i find the truth you know what? i don't have time for this you know i thought you were joking about that salad stuff well i wasn't besides it's good for you i told you i'm fine you're forgetting to sound just like your mother right now. You know, we never really talked about it. Like, uh, you know, we never really talked about it. You know, like, uh, your mom passing. Your, your mom passing, you know? I'm okay, Dad. There's times where I miss her more than others, but I'm taking it day by day. Yeah, I'm so proud of you. You're so mature for your age. You know, some kids, like, they drink, they smoke. Punks, like, they do drugs, you know? But you thrive. Like, every day, you thrive. Well, that's because she wouldn't want me to be doing any of those things. And besides, I'm not a kid. I got some things I gotta tell you. Like, I've got some demons in my closet. Excuse me, like... How shall I say? No, like, demons I gotta conquer. Conquer? You know, like... 
things I'm not proud of. Come on, Dad. It was the 70s. Everybody was doing it. No, Anne. Like, I was a different person back then. Like, I had so much hate bottled up inside of me. Look, I had... Hold on. Look, it's my coach. Look, I had... I gotta take this. All right, Dad. What was it you were saying? Nothing. Nothing. Just, like, try and be better than me, that's all I'm saying. Okay. Of course, Dad. But, you know, being a police commissioner is a pretty high standard. <laughs> Do you still plan on running for mayor? All right, so that DNA sample we found out is for a girl named Ella? Yeah. Ella Foster, age 23. Drop out of school at the age of 17. Ironically, she was an orphan. Then adopted by a Michael and Daisy Boutelier. Hmm. Odd last name. It's not odd, it's French. Why is that funny? Well, just because you don't know how to pronounce it doesn't mean you should label it odd. Well, I wouldn't trust anyone with a last name like that. Gives me the creeps. <clears throat> Come on, Julia, really? That's kinda... Forget it. Anyways, they live in the Northwest area. Now, let's not ask any big questions. I just wanna see if she knows anything. Julia, you can't be so naive when it comes to labeling suspects. Nine times out of 10, it can be that person. So, we're gonna have to stick to the game plan here. Wow. No wonder you have no partner. You can't even go with a simple game plan. See, you'll never get anywhere with that attitude. We're on the same team, Kent. No, what you just tried to do is tell me how to do my job. That's not a game plan. Besides, partners make you rationalize your thoughts. I don't need that in my ear. Nobody's on a team. I heard what happened in that desert. Besides, I'm a detective on my own, with no help. Well, I had to bust my ass to get here. And don't come telling me about something you don't have any clue about. Period. Is that- Yeah, let's go. Foster. Yeah? We're gonna need you to come with us. So, we're investigating a bunch of missing person cases. Uh, can you please tell me your whereabouts around 9 p.m. of... <laughs> Hello, Foster? Yeah? I'm Detective Kent Channing. This is Agent Julia Lennon. I was wondering if we can ask you a couple questions. About? Well, there have been a few missing person cases. I wanted to know where you were last Wednesday around 9 p.m. Yeah, I went for a late night jog and after that I headed home. Can anyone attest to that? I was by myself. Why so late? I mean, there's a creep murdering people around here. Well, a creep never stopped me from getting what I want. And that night I wanted to run. Besides, I don't need a man looking after me. Now hold up, we never said that. Your partner implied it. Well, did you see anything that night? A car, a man, anything? No, usually when I run, I don't look at people unless they specifically catch my eye. Look, I'm already running really late. If you guys have a card or anything, I can call you if I remember something. Yeah, we do not have a card. Are you? Well, if I need your help, I'll make contact. Fucking amateurs. What's your problem, Kent? Like seriously, what's your problem? Why can't you go with the program? This isn't a game, Julia. Every moment we're out here, someone could be next. Lives are at stake. So sorry for being uh, straightforward. That was completely unprofessional. This is why I have rules. And that is why I break them. You think Ella has a part in this? I don't think so. She was just in the wrong place at the wrong time. Yeah, let's, let's move on. Not quite. 
She didn't forcefully grab them, but she does have a part in this. How? What could you possibly gain from this that gives you consideration that she's in on this? Her emotions. What emotions, Kent? She seemed calm to me. If you told your friends and family a murder suspect was in their neighborhood, you'd feel uncomfortable, right? More than uncomfortable, but that's normal. Exactly. She wasn't mad, scared, worried about anything besides the fact that she can take care of herself. She's fearless. But what's her motive? She's not doing these killings alone. Someone is helping her. I need to check her records again. I might have missed something. Do you think we should follow her? Way ahead of you. I know where we can find this mystery man. Julia, I think Ella is drugging the victims. She keeps them isolated in these hiking areas. I don't know what she's drugging them with. Please get back to me as soon as you can. Julia, Julia, it's the Julia, water. It's the water. Julia, she's got. The water. She's got. She got, she got, got it. it. She got it. She got it. She got it. Are you gonna deal with that, or do I have to? Hello, my name is Zachary McCastle, and I'll be your doctor for this evening. I'm going to be injecting you with a teratotoxin that will allow me to perform my job safely. Now what this will do is induce paralysis within your muscles so that you're not going to struggle during the procedure. This is only a small dose, so you will be fine. However, I should inform you that I am planning on either extracting your liver or your brain. I'll have to examine your charts further before I come to a decision on that. You can't make these decisions like me. One minute, please. I am so sorry. This is very unprofessional on my part. In this business, my skills are 
Dr. McCassa speaking. Hey, Zach. I got another friend you might be interested in. Do you want to meet up at the usual spot? This isn't a good time, Ella. I'm currently prepping a patient for a procedure. <laughs> He's a cop. Is that so? No shit. How much extra? 10,000. Cash this time. No more checks. All right. I could be at our meeting place within the, the hour. Can you wait? Yeah, I got time. I'll see you. Now. He's a fucking sociopath, man, I tell you. We're gonna wait for now, but if he doesn't bring the cash, you know what to do. Ella, where are you? Avic, I wasn't expecting you. Taking care of yourself? I hope so, because I can't make house calls like I used to anymore. I'm very busy. But never to fear, I have the money that she asked for. Cold hard cash. Okay, enough of the silent treatment, Havoc. Where is Ella with the cop I was promised? Where are you going? Is she coming or not? Havoc! Zach, how are you? I'm very well, Ella. Thank you for asking. Taking care of yourself? Of course, of course. Where's the cash? I really wish you would trust the integrity of a doctor by now. <laughs> Quit the shit. Do you have my cop? Cash. Two years of business and the same hostility. Mm. You really need to learn to lighten up. Hmm. I've heard. Not to worry. That's all there. Doctor patient confidentiality is important to me. <laughs> Pleasure doing business with you.